Yeah, you are talking to mommy. Well, yeah, I'll do, I'll do the numbers. Mm -hmm. Have a look at So it's fully. It's fully custom. Like you customize how it looks. Okay. And what shows you? It's quite good that the maps right there actually. Yeah, that is much better. It's more in your yeah, eye line. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Country roads. You can press buttons. I just want to see how does the system sound system sounds as well. You want me to have a go at it? Yeah, yeah. Just press. Uh, just probably scroll up and down. I don't know. Just at the top. Yeah. Let's have a look. Sound, maybe no, no, that's just media. media. Yeah, press media. Yeah. Dab. Radio, yeah. Dab, dab radio. Yeah. Uh, it's probably settings. I think you need to actually go to the actual radio. Press close. Uh, Let's go back as well. I'll find it. I go to school. Oh no, we've gone past it. I think you're just in settings, man. Mm -hmm. Oh. It wasn't, there wasn't really uh, the option. So it connects, you can't scroll up or down on this. Who knows where we are. Uh, no, it's not getting no, go further. No, uh, Let's check the top. What's that? This is settings. So how do you like play radio here? Yes, there's a play button here, see what that does. Oh, uh, yeah. Is inside outside, do you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Or, no, no, it's the different heats, remember? It's got, you can probably have different temperatures for different people. So, on my oh, side is 22, on your side is 12. That's good. 19. Yeah, I mean, wish we'd have had that in the room. Yeah. Are you mainly hot or cold? Wow. At night. Well, I've made a thing for SD collar. Yeah. Put your USB down there. Okay. It's quite nice if you're mm. fucking quite stylish. Put it back on. Dancing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to be sold on the first car you try, isn't it? Oh, yeah. No, 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 stop. Kind of. I am 
finally out in the garden and um, there's a few things I must get done. Must, must, must. Shall I give you a garden tour for a quick one? Let's do it. So, that was short-lived. There was no potatoes, even though there is all this greenery. I don't get it. Need help. Usually the sign of loads of potatoes is all this lovely greenery, but there was nothing. Absolutely nothing, so I've put it back. Hopefully I haven't damaged it too much. And we'll see whether we get something. I'm really confused. Let's do the next job. to sow this year all of the things I want to grow so I'm looking at beetroot I've got carrots celery chives just things that we actually eat as a family I just don't see the point in growing anything that you don't eat as a family so um leeks uh, peas, my son loves peas, onions, which you can never go wrong with, courgette, which will just be me, but that's fine. Uh, there's another courgette, which is an unusual looking one, which I'd love to try. Some cucumbers, some scotch bonnets, because I'd love to make my own spicy hot pepper sauce. Some corn, because we love corn. Um, and uh, a um, chili, a cayenne chili pepper, and then also parsley, so I can make some lovely um, green seasoning as well. So I'm not going too wild this year. This will be my first year planting, so um, let's, you know, I'm a beginner. At the moment, my potatoes have gone array. And I don't know where they are, so I'm going to do some research on that. If any of you guys know why my potatoes might not have grown yet, I mean, they've been in them pots for like three months. They should have had some potatoes by now. So um, I'm going to leave them in, see what happens, experiment. Um, but yeah, if any of you guys have any comments or 
ideas of why my potatoes aren't growing, please comment below. Your sis, this girl needs your help. Um, and then, yeah, chives. Um, and then also, because I'm trying to grow things as organically as possible, organically, completely, to be honest, um, the, even the fertiliser I use is seaweed, organic um, seaweed, which um, is really, really good. And actually for my strawberries have been amazing because I tested them out last year. Um, but calendula and marigolds are really good to plant next to flowers as um, flowers that um, kind of like take all the bugs. So if there's any aphids or any kind of pest, they will go to this first. This will be the host plant um, instead of your lovely fruit and veg. So that's a great thing to do and try. So yeah, one reason why I have got into gardening is obviously last year we were in lockdown and it was, do you know, what? actually I'm going to put my face on. Sorry, I had a call. Um, but yeah, so that has really given me the incentive to grow vegetables. It may not be perfect this year, but at least learning the craft, understanding how things grow, what works for me and the soil in my area amending soil and all that jazz growing things as organically as possible is important very very important too so this is the beginning of the journey and so hopefully the garden will bloom and just be a really nice safe haven for my family to play and enjoy and just yeah just love it so yeah and that is about it apologies it is a lot darker now but I finally got loads of seeds out. So in this one, there is onions. There is both red and yellow. We've got carrots and beetroot here. And then here we've got corn. We've got leeks. We've got peas. We've got celery. Uh, we've got chili, scotch bonnets cucumber courgettes and then marigolds and can calendula so the only thing i'm missing are tomatoes so they're all seeded up i think i'll try and cover some of the um chili ones but yeah i've got it done we're getting there <laughs> 